Hey guys, Shirshot Midget here. I'm doing a review and unboxing of a El Elite Force 1911. However you say, Elite or Elite. Um, go check out the review of this I just made. Um, g and Graph Blowback M4. And an APS body, go ahead and watch that. But here we go on the unboxing. So, you know, the boxes, I don't really care for. I don't like this yellow stuff. Just don't like it. Um... Yeah, open it up. You get um, this BB. Their BBs are really good, but I get cheaper BBs because I just don't have money to go buy. You know, I use twenty fives. Their two thousand seven hundred twenty fives are like ten bucks or something. No, like eleven or something. And I can get I can get five thousand BBs for that same price. Yeah, they might not be as good, but I've never had problems with them. So extra mag. If you get it, the extra mag. Um, then the manual, which is not a bad manual at all. It's English. It's nice. Um, tells you everything you need to know. It actually gives you some good tips. Um, but you know, if I was a, if I would make these manuals, I would make them have more suggestions on what to do that would help your gas, you know, this specific gun work better. Um, we have the mag, which is in the gun normally. I, I have three mags. One of them is busted. Um, then I have one work, fully working one that I have never, ever, ever put a CO2 can, nothing. Never put it in the gun. Um, and then I have this one that does leak, but I put these two seals on it, so now it does not leak. Um, I've put this CO2 can in there three days ago, and I shot, like, a mag out of it, and you'll see how powerful it is. Gas has stayed in there, and you'll get the Allen wrench in there. As you can see, mine is not the way it looks when you get it. Mine is uh, completely uh, different. I chromed it. Uh, the sanding job's not the best, obviously. I just used a hand sander or a file and a file. I use both, I think. Um, this magazine holds about 15 BBs. I use .25s, and it shoots about 310 FPS, so it shoots pretty nice. Um, pretty hard, in fact, and I love it. This is a year and a half old, and it works beautifully. Um, there are a few problems that I've had with it. One is the safety is broken, where when you pull the hammer back or cock the gun, you put it on safe, and you pull the trigger, it does fire. And on, There's some piece in there that is broken that, like, Stops the hammer from coming forward, but is war it is worn down somehow. Um, I don't know how. I took it apart, and it doesn't look like there's a piece in there. As you can see, this gun is really old. There's a lot of dirt in there. I've taken this apart before, but I've never really taken the time to take a toothbrush and just, like, get all that crap out of there. There's just a bunch of crap along this, you know, pistol grip. I don't know if I'll do that now or not. I kind of want to. There's a lot of just junk inside of there. I think I might do that um, here soon, here tonight, um, just to get that crap out of there. Um, so, slide lock, when you're empty, it does lock back. My slide lock is worn down a little bit, and one problem I have about this gun that ticks me off a lot is that this follower is plastic, and this is metal. When you have this being metal and this being plastic, this gets worn down really, really fast. And it starts to not lock back ever. I never get a lock back on this uh, magazine. I use WD-40 to lube it, and I have had no single or no problems with the cycling or anything. My hop up is adjusted for 110 feet. Works great. It shoots really straight. That's with .25s too. But my hop up did stop working. I'll show you that. Take it apart. You know, there's this. On this other side over here, you're supposed to line the grooves up, and then I have to, sorry, I have to turn it towards me, and then uh, pull it out. Um, I'm looking for another one of these because it's worn out a little bit. I'm going to try to buy a Trokin Murray one. Um, but my hop up wheel is not adjustable, it moves but does not adjust anything because it is broken but my nub does not move. Now, is that a bad thing? Not really, because I have it dialed in right where I want it, and it stayed right where I wanted it. Um, and then there's the air, air nozzle, everything in there. Everything in there is clean. Um, on the slide, everything is really clean, lubed up. 
Um, but everything down here needs to be just cleaned out. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go take this, throw it in the sink, get a toothbrush, and start wiping it off. Um, the internals are pretty nice quality. There's not much steel inside of this. Um, the steel that I would say, or the parts that are steel, in fact, are the, uh, these, uh, or... Sorry, I need to go sleep. These, uh, grip... Grip screws are steel, and also the trigger bar is steel, which is one of the main parts on this. The other part that should be steel is the hammer, but it's not um, not a big deal, though. haven't had a problem with the hammer. Um, as you can see right there, there's like an indent from what I think is the hammer hitting this all the time, that round part. Um, but it also could be some brands put like these weird like shape like things in their metal to make them sturdier like they, they like punch this like rod in there and then it dries and it's like thicker and sturdier but I think that's just an imprint from smacking that uh the uh, slide all the time and man this is nice quality do I recommend this pistol yes I recommend it to the beginner I recommend it to anyone in fact the beginner is just, this is made for the beginner because it does not break. This is a year and a half old. You get this gun, whether you're playing, uh, you know, Backyard Wars, you're going to pwn your friends, you're going to freaking destroy them. This thing shoots absolutely perfect. If you treat it like I've treated it, you know, not going around your house racking it randomly, you know, pulling the trigger all the time, just wearing the thing out. If you don't, if you don't do that like me, this thing might last two years. I don't know. This thing could last three years. I don't know yet. Without a replacement part, I don't know. I treat this thing well. I've shot in probably fifty CO two cans out of it. Um, I broke one mag because uh, the seal is like all ripping apart and it's starting to like come down. And I try to fix it, but I can't. That's problems with the you got problems with the mag, but you're not gonna be spending replacement parts on this. Maybe when you buy the gun, buy two mags. Um, if you're playing back, you know backyard wars, you don't need to use two mags. Put one in a box, keep it away. When your first one breaks, you pull that one out. It's brand new. You know it'll last you a long time. When you can buy this for a hundred dollars, buy another mag, hundred and thirty dollars. You got a nice setup. It'll last you a year and a half, and you know. For birthday, for Christmas, you can get a better gun, but you will have an amazing pistol along your side. And then for those people that are experienced, I mean, I'm experienced. I honestly am. I'm not a noob. I'm not even close to a noob. I've been playing airsoft for four years. I know terms and stuff. I, I know a lot, a lot about real guns. Um, I might not sound like it, but I do. I really do. Um, I know a lot more than any of my friends. I know more than my brother, my friends, my dad, every everyone combined that I know and I I don't have very many friends, so you know, not you know, there's not a whole lot of people in that category. Um <laughs> um but, you know, I know a lot about guns. That's just what I like. And some people could call me crazy. I'm not crazy. You know, airsoft guns are not deadly. I can't go sh shoot a bunch of people with airsoft guns and kill them. I could do that with real guns, but I'm not about to. Stupid. But, um... Yeah, so this is my hobby, Airsoft. It's amazing. Um, you know... It gets me active. And I love running around with these pistols. I love just running these pistols by themselves. I ran this pistol... 25 degrees weather, and it was snowing, and I used it the whole freaking day. I got, like, three rounds out of it, and then it would stop cycling. You wait for a few, you know, seconds, wait for 30 seconds, you can get two more rounds off, then it stops cycling. But your CO2 lasts forever because there's a lot of built-up CO2. It's just cold. Um, so, you know, I went through three CO2 cans in, like, six hours of airsoft play. That's a, you know, that's a lot. Or not a lot of CO2, but that's a long time. So this gun is extremely gas efficient. Thanks for watching, guys. Rate, right, comment, subscribe. Um, want some more, more? I want some more subscribers. So I'm gonna go clean this um, and have a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching.